Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 18th, 2021. Well, I'm sorry, guys, I'm a little bit behind today, so I'm going to do a quicker video than normal. We're going to shorten things up here just a little bit so I can get it out on time. Let's take a look at what's going on in these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, we have Asian markets um, mostly lower overnight and we've got European markets also pushing lower. So it's interesting to see that we have some of our um, futures trying to push higher based on really nothing more than hopes on earnings. So let's watch this closely this morning. We have Dow just a little bit lower, but we've got uh, the rest of our uh, futures pointing just a little bit higher this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we take a look here and see if we can gain some information. Let's take a look at um, our current trend. We have this little upside trend going on. Now, one thing to notice about this upside trend is that it's extremely steep. As a matter of fact, we rallied so much in the last few days, we are really pushing a short-term overbought condition in the market. However, on the good news side of this, we certainly break nicely higher here, holding uh, above that um, downtrend level in the chart and we pushed back above our 50 day moving average. So now what we wanna watch for is any kind of rest or pullback. Any kind of rest or pullback would definitely set up an opportunity in this chart. And honestly, there wouldn't be anything wrong with a rest or pullback in here. As a matter of fact, I think we need one. Now you gotta be a little bit careful about rushing in or chasing in anyway when we're moving up, when we've moved up this far this fast. And let's also keep in mind guys that if we take a look here, we are pushing up right into this um, resistance area of the chart. So if we can get enough bullishness in the news today, we certainly have that possibility we could push on through. But I gotta tell you, I really think the higher likelihood is that we push back here, test that 50 day moving average and test this area here as support. So watch carefully for both of those opportunities. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY quickly. Same situation where we moved up pretty sharply here in the chart. Notice that we have gone up really, really steeply and we are approaching some um, additional resistance levels here in the chart. And so far, SPY has done a really good job of looking very, very strong and pushing very hard. Now a rest or pullback would seem kind of likely here and just to pull back toward that 50 day moving average or at a minimum consolidate in here to come back and contact that trend seems to be a well, I'm not going to try and predict that, but that possibility does exist. How about the Qs? Well, QQQ still struggling here just a little bit. If we take a look here first, we're still underneath our 50 day moving average and notice that 50 day moving average is still in decline. So this is going to be an important day for QQQ. Will we push through or will we fail at that 50 day moving average? And let's keep in mind, we have not only that 50 day, we have a pretty significant level of price resistance in that chart and then as we go up we still have those additional levels that we will have to deal with as we try to push through. So keep in mind a little bit of a rest or a little bit of pullback would not be out of the question after such a strong rally and if we take a look at um, our our support level and our trend nothing would be there would be no major problem no real technical problem here if we were to push back or pull back into here as long as it holds so keep an eye on that and then the russell iwm my goodness russell had the benefit of um, energy prices moving higher had the benefit of uh, financials moving higher we moved up and smacked right into that downtrend. I mean, perfectly smacked into that downtrend. And then we saw those sellers 
come in pushing us back down but that being said we're still holding nicely in this wedging pattern and any resting pullback in here probably will be okay as long as we don't take out those lows and fall below those lows that would be where we would really have a problem let's also keep in mind that we're holding above our 50 and 200 and they're about ready to pinch together here so we could certainly pull back into this area and hold let's take a look at our vix now the VIX has had an extremely strong pullback here. We just dropped like a rock. Uh, seems to be no fear in this market, but I think there might be a little bit of a false read here. I think there is a little bit of fear um, in the market with um, these energy crisis things, with these financial things going on in China, with um, supply chain problems. I think there may be a little bit more panic here than or fear not panic than what this chart is showing but we're pushing back down here we're very very low here in the vix which is a good sign if those bulls want to keep that going we need to sink a little bit more if we were to bounce off of this today we might see a pretty strong bounce and that's just because we're we're so elevated we could see a little bit of profit taking selling pushing this back. So watch that carefully. If we pop above that downtrend and hold it as support, that's where we could run into a little bit of problem. But if we can push up and hold that as resistance, then no particular worries in that chart. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 gave us that uh, look on um, Friday that we had a little bit of a problem and notice that we had pushed all the way up here in that T2122 in that bearish reversal zone. And I know, again, I, I, I continue to say this, nobody likes to see that occur or, or excuse me, wants to, um, to think that the market can pull back. But let's just take a look every time we reach up into this area we get some kind of a pullback. Now it doesn't have to be a crash. It could be a little resting consolidation in here in the chart to get that to pull back. So watch that closely. And although we did pull back a little bit on Friday before the close, just keep in mind that we do have that upside opportunity as well. If we can get some good earnings out this morning, we certainly could pop a little higher. Then let's take a look at our T2107. That's that percentage of stocks above their 200 day moving average and let's notice we finally did break that downtrend so that's bullish for the market and we broke above this little support level in the chart so if we can rest or pull back in here and hold above that area we could be in pretty good shape and that will help a lot if we can get some of these stocks that have been just really really bearish perking up now what we don't want to see if the market does sell off a little bit, we don't want to see that push back below that area because that could create some more lows in that um, T2107. So let's take a quick peek at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot on it, but there is enough on there that we should be kind of paying attention here as you can see we've got industrial production this morning that's one of those numbers that does have the potential to move us around a little bit and we have um, the housing market index keep in mind later on in the day we've got um, fed speaker and treasury international i don't think that's going to move us at all these two reports this morning may have some potential then notice later on this week we've got housing starts We've got petroleum status here, jobless claims, Philly Fed, existing homes, and the PMI. So I don't think we have too much on here that's really going to move us a ton until we get out here um, toward the end of the week. But let's keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, surprisingly, is just a little bit light today. Um, we're starting to build up toward... Um, build up toward uh, big techs and things like that earnings but we've got a few reports that we'll want to keep an eye on how about aci 
got to type it right, A-C-Y-I. Um, watch this one this morning. Trying to pop up already. Albertson's moving up. Little grocery chains um, could be kind of important as food prices continue to spike. Let's keep a close eye on that but trying to defeat this downtrend. So keep an eye on that. We have PacWest that will be reporting this morning. Keep an eye on that. We'll see how that produces. This has been moving in a nice little upside trend and broke through some resistance up here. So uh, certainly has that bullish look in it. Uh, this could be an important report for them. And we've got State Street reporting today, pushing up into price resistance in the chart keep a close eye on that. We've got possible double top, but we've also got a possible nice little upside trend where we could push right on through in that chart. And last but not least, um, Steel Dynamics is what I have on there for notables this morning. Keep a close eye on Steel. Whoops. Steel has struggled here. There we go. Type the right. Steel has struggled here trying to get things going. And we sold off, sold off, sold off, sold off after kind of the anticipation of the infrastructure bill faded. And now we're trying to pick up a little bit more incentive, um, fuel here. And we're just trying to get ourselves perked back up out of this bottom. But we're right at this um, pretty strong resistance level in the chart. So watch that carefully. Um, I will say that we have broken that downtrend here. And I always like charts like that to break that downtrend. So prove to hold and then we might have that opportunity to push up toward that 50-day moving average. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that bell icon when it pops up. Also, crush that um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment if you find this video to have been helpful in your planning for the day. And thank you so much who, for those who take the time to do that. It, it does mean a lot to me and I truly appreciate it. Let's um, also take a quick look at these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you have to do your own due diligence on these and make sure that you are paying very, very close attention, attention to the risks in these trades. Let's take a look at a couple stocks. Um, take a look at Mondelez, guys. Mondelez trying to move up. This is at a defensive sector stock. I'm bringing that up because of this little tiny bit of bullish bearishness that we could experience here today. Um, in the market. Notice that we push through this downtrend and we're trying to perk up. This is a defensive sector stock with a pretty decent dividend yield and we're trying to put in a bit of a inverted head and shoulders pattern here. So watch this carefully in here now. Let's keep in mind, let's not just jump right in there and chase in. Let's notice we're still below our 50 day moving average on that chart, but starting to pick up and I'm seeing some of these defensive sector stocks um, recover pretty strongly. Take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo pushing right through resistance highs. Notice we pulled back a little bit on Friday, but we're trying to hold this area right in here. If we can hold in this area and find those buyers, then there might be that opportunity for PepsiCo to move on through to the upside. Usually when I look at Pepsi, I take a look at Coke, but unfortunately, Coke's just not quite there yet. However, it could be setting up. Notice that we're breaking down this uh, this downtrend has been broken. We still have this downtrend that needs to beat. But notice that we popped through some pretty significant resistance, price resistance in the chart right here. So if this can pull back, rest, and hold, then there may be that opportunity that Coke could start perking up. And you can kind of see that inverted head and shoulders pattern that may have developed or may be developing there in Coke. So keep a close eye on that. You might also want to keep a close eye on these energy stocks. Um, oh my goodness. Um, energy has just been um, phenomenal here in the market, continuing to push on higher here in um, XLF. And you could just drill down into XLF and find tons of stocks showing lots and lots of bullishness in that um, energy sector. Now, I will tell you, I think some of these need a little bit of a rest or pullback. 
Um, I think they're a little bit extended in the short term, so you may have to watch that closely. But, you know, you take a look at stocks like ExxonMobil, and ExxonMobil has been chopping right in this area here, trying to deal with some price support and price resistance levels in the chart. So keep an eye on that. If this can continue this um, big surge in these fuel prices, watch for that ExxonMobil to maybe pop through to the upside. So lots of charts in that sector looking good. Let's take a look at some other uh, types of energy, some green energy. Let's take a look at TAN. T-A-N, um, solar ETF, breaking through this downtrend and trying to hold a higher low. Notice we're breaking through that resistance area right here. If we can hold up in here, there is that opportunity to move on higher. And let's note that we're above our 50 day moving average. We're trying to dress that 200 right now, but any rest or consolidation in here could set up that upside opportunity. And you can see that same kind of chart if you take a look at F cell. F-cell breaking through some downtrends, as you can see, looking higher here, holding it a um, little bit less in this in the strength on the uh, the push back up. And notice we have this resistance right in here that we're trying to address, but kind of a strong move here. If that could consolidate right here and then pop through or go ahead and push on through and then hold, then we might have some opportunities coming up here in F-cell and notice that we're well above our 50 day moving average. So any resting consolidation here has that opportunity to set up. That, you know, I get requests, can you show some less expensive stocks once in a while? Well, this is one of those less expensive stocks that could be setting up. So watch this carefully in here, that possibility that this will move up toward that 200 day looks pretty good at the moment. Keep an eye on that. Um, besides those solars, I'm going to add in a couple others. Take a look at Ballard Power. Now, Ballard Power surged really strongly here just recently. And notice that we pushed up through that downtrend and we're trying to consolidate right in here above this little price support. So this may need a little bit more time to rest, but keep a close eye on that holding above its 50 day moving average in here and has that opportunity to set up that rounded bottom breakout pattern that I like to trade and push up toward that. 200. So keep a close eye on Ballard Power. You could also take a look at Plug. Now Plug Power, both, both of these are in that fuel cell area. Plug Power looking good. It has surged really, really strongly, pressing into some resistance into that chart. So it may need a little bit more time to rest, but let's keep a close eye on Plug. It has has some work to do yet, but may be getting closer and closer to turning that corner in the chart. So let's watch that closely for that little consolidation and see if that can start pushing back up. So lots of stocks out there in, in kind of extended conditions, but I really like those stocks that are starting to shape up. Let's take a look at a couple of those in tech. You guys know that I have been keeping an eye here on Intel. Intel has just been one of those that the market has loved to hate here for a while. And you can see this big old downtrend here in this chart. And we pushed up this week or last week right into that downtrend. So if we could push on through and hold, this is one of those stocks that uh, at least its PE ratio is not way out of whack like all the big techs are right now and may have some opportunities for some good upside moves if it can break through that resistance up here. Notice we're back above our 50 day moving average. So if we can hold up here, that volatility holds out. There may be some opportunities here in Intel. So with that everyone, hey, I'm gonna cut this video short. I wanna wish you guys a great day. There will be no blog today because of some technical issues and things that I was having. So everyone have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you the very best. Wish you great success. And we'll talk to you bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.